All right, YouTube. DJ Fedora here with a holiday edition of How's, How's it taste? taste? And today we're trying out some really interesting things. These are some candies from all over the world. Today we're trying out Gin Gins. Then we've got Botan Rice Candy. And then Lacquerol. Or maybe Lacquerol. And apparently it makes people talk. And then the last candy I've got is, and that's Marzipan. And uh, Marzipan is made from almonds, apparently. And this one's in the shape of a little piggy. He's a cute little wee piggy. And he wants to get in my tummy. So, enough talk. Let's find out how's it taste. Let's try the Gin Gins first. Ooh, yeah. Don't quite know about this. It's got kind of the consistency of taffy. Doesn't smell of much. Maybe some starch or uh, powder around it. Um, let's try. Let's see if it breaks. Doesn't break too easy, just kind of bends. Uh, holy crap. It was chewy. So far I haven't gotten anything off of it. Seriously? Hmm? Yeah, I got some! I got something. Oh. No. Yeah. Bleh. I didn't think that through too well. I don't have a place to put it. Yeah, gosh. It burns. Um. Tastes like paint thinner. Ugh. Nasty! <laughs> Gingins aren't very tasty at all. In fact, they're quite genuinely nasty. Don't like the Gingins. Plus, look how chewy they are. It took me forever just to get a bite off of one of them. Alright, now we're going to try the Botan Rice Candy. It looks so good, and it smells so sweet. I don't know. I haven't even smelled it yet. Let's see here. It looks cute. It looks to be of kind of a jelly-looking thingy, but kind of a jelly, and it's wrapped in... Is that plastic? It was wrapped in plastic, and it looks like it's wrapped in more plastic. Um... Yeah. Oh, each candy has an edible inner wrapper that melts in your mouth. Okay, so it's edible. All right. Not sure I like that inner wrapper. Mm. All right, it's good, but you can't, it's so chewy, you can't, it doesn't chew. It has an orange flavor, which is all right, but it just chews and chews and chews and chews and chews and chews, and nothing ever comes out of it. You can't get rid of it. Oh, and look, it's got a cute little piggy sticker in it, a wee little piggy on some oranges. And it's printed in Japan. Go figure. Japanese candy from Japan. I lost everything in the mix. Botan rice candy. Moving on to the lacaroo. Lacaroo, lacaroo. 
Oh, it's from Rio de Janeiro. It was underneath the thing here. Rio de Janeiro. It's a wacky language on there, too. It looks like it's like German or Czechoslovakian or something. Okay. This is a wee little, wee little medallion here. A black medallion with an air on it. Let's try the little lacaroon. <laughs> no! Woo! That was like menthol. Like cinnamon licorice menthol. That one was no go at all. Woo! Baby! Crazy, lot of crazy. All right, so the lacquer roll was so bad, I had to get up and go and just um, really just kind of wash my mouth out. It was it was horrible. Um, but yeah, this just it had a taste of licorice, menthol, and something else in there, almost almost kind of like a vinegary flavor, and it was just bad. And the second it went in my mouth. The vinegar flavor rushed into my taste buds, and then I got the licorice. So that was kind of a rancid, vinegary flavor, and then, bam! All of a sudden, menthol hits you, and it's just like, nope. My mouth said, no sir, and it went kaplooey right all over the floor. -y. Okay, so from Germany. Germans love the little wee piggies. We got some marzipan here. And as we know, like I said earlier, marzipan is made of almonds. So we're going to try some marzipan piggy. Now, the question is, just what part of this little piggy do we want to try? Do we want to try something from the rooter? Or something from the tutor? Or a little bit of both? Or maybe something from the middle. What do you think? I don't know. Let's go with the traditional tutor. And let's just take that little piggy tail off. Now it's solid pink all the way through. Which is kind of... I expected it to have like an almondy color in the middle. And this, this pink be like a, a shell or something. But it's not. It's all one solid piece. And... Let's give her a try. Yeah. Now this I can handle. This is pretty good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sorry, little piggy. But you're going to get in my belly. There's a whole new meaning for bacon. Because this little bacon right here tastes like sweet, delicious, chewy, savory almond flavor. It really is good. Really is good. In fact, I'm going to enjoy another piece here. Sorry, piggy. <coughs> now we can enjoy the rest of the pig and not have to worry about him suffering. Dun, dun, dun. So, ladies and gentlemen, to your health. For the holiday season. Another episode of How's It Taste. The Gin Gins. So chewy. Could barely get a bite out of it. And once I finally did. Yeah. No, no bueno. The Botan Rice Candy. Good. Nice subtle orange flavor. Sweet. I didn't really care for that inner wrapper, that edible inner wrapper. Gave it a weird texture as you're trying to chew, start chewing on it. Um, but the only problem was is that it was so chewy, I could tell I wasn't going to get anywhere anytime soon with that. So I had to stop chewing it. But the flip side of it is it came with a wonderful, cute little piggy on some oranges sticker for your sticker books. So you can't lose there, folks. You got a free sticker 
with your rice candy. That's a winner. <laughs> the lacquer roll. Um, yeah. Unless you just like weird, nasty things. No. Menthol, licorice, kind of a vinegar flavor to it. I can't say that anybody would enjoy that. And of course, the marzipan piggy from Germany. And he was delicious. We had a little bit of the rear end of the piggy. And we went ahead and put him out of his misery so that we could finish the rest of him a little bit later. So of all four here, the winners were the rice candy, but above all, the marzipan, sweet almondy flavor. I don't think there's anybody out there, unless you do not like almonds, you'll like the marzipan. But I didn't know it was be quite that delicious. Um, now I know why a lot of the German candies are also made with marzipan. Because it's good. It's awesome. It's really tasty. However, you know, some things from other places just don't taste too great. But that's why I'm here. So that we can ask, how's it taste? And so I can tell you how it tastes. That way you don't have to suffer through trying it yourself. So until next time, guys, don't forget, we're not anonymous, but we are everywhere. This is going to be our last episode of 2016. Come fresh 2017, we'll have some new ones. Uh, and we'll see you next year. And until we see you again, we bid thee farewell. Good night.